Hi everyone, so for this video I'm going to be teaching you how to use APIs. So this is just one out of many examples that I'll be posting on how to grab information um, with APIs. The first option we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at async await. We're going to be looking at this API called Ghibli API. So I'll be leaving the documentation down in the description box below. What I've done is I've just set up a basic template of Next.js. So if you want to watch the video on how to set this up from default, um, just go to the video down below and you'll be able to watch it. And I just removed a few items at the top and I just now am left with just the div right here in the return because I want it super basic here in the index.js page. This is the home page. So then we can start adding our own code to this page. So first thing we got to do is Let's say we want to first grab our API. So let's export const get static props is equal to async. And we're gonna have these brackets here with the arrow. And now we want to actually grab the information from the Ghibli API. And it will be const API URL is equal to I will um, leave this link down in the description box below as well so you guys could um, copy it. So then I'll define my other constants. What we want to do right here is we want to grab all the information from this URL because if we actually go to this URL, I'll show you what it looks like. So if I put this URL in the browser, this is what it shows. So this is basically just a bunch of information that is given to us about the Ghibli APIs. And it's just a bunch of movies with descriptions, titles, director names, producer names, and much more about all the different movies. So we're just gonna look on how we, we can look at how we can grab this information and how we can grab a number of items from the different types of movies. What we have to do is we actually have to pass this information into the home um, function because we wanna be able to display the information in our home page. So let's just actually return this. So we are returning props, which is a bunch of information, and the posts. Now what we want to do is, in between the home bracket here, we want to actually add the posts. Because this signifies that we are grabbing the posts from these props that are being passed over from the return. Now let's actually console Let's console log this out so we could see what's going on. Console.log posts. This way, we'll be able to see all the information in our browser before we actually display anything on screen. So save it. And let's run the terminal here. npm run dev. So right here, we should just have a blank page. And if we right click and inspect, let's go console. And right here, you can see that there's some sort of array that is being passed to us. Let's open this up. As you can see here, this array contains a bunch of information here, which is all of the movies that are coming from the actual API. If we open one of them, you can see we get a description, director, ID, image, location, and much more information. So this is all something that we can actually use in any of our applications. So let's go back to our code right now and actually display this information on our screen. So right over here, we could, inside the div, we'll have a main, and we'll add all of the posts. So what you have to do is we have to add these curly brace brackets in here, and we have to go posts.map, and then we grab the post, 
So this is just one post, so it's not posts with the sa with the S, because posts is everything that is being um, given to us. We use another variable, just um, you can make it something similar, just post. So it's spelt something slightly different, but still has the same meaning. And what we could do here is let's have the arrow function, then brackets, and in between here, let's actually put a div. And we should have something like this set up right now. And inside here, we want to actually define uh, specific information in our post. So let's say, um, let's first just grab the title. So let's do h3. Now, in order to grab the title of a post, let's actually look at, um, for example, a title that we want to grab. So if we want to do that, um, we have to grab based on the post. So what we'll do is, what the map is doing here is it is looping through all of the items because there are there were 22 different movies that were showing in our console log. So what post is doing is has all the 22 movies, but post means just look at one thing at a time. So what the map is doing is it is looping through it's the map is going to loop through this um, multiple times like this until it is done looking at all of the posts. So the first post is the position zero. When it first gets here, it's position zero. So if we go back to our browser and if we look here, position zero, if we go open it, if we want to grab the actual title, there's a thing called title down here. So when we call post.title, then it will grab castle in the sky. So let's uh, do that. Let's do post.title and we'll save that. So right now, it's going to grab post.title for first the first one, but then it's going to keep looping over and over again. So we should get approximately, we should get 22 movie titles displayed on our browser now. So if I save it, Let's go back to our browser and see what happens. You can see here we got all of the titles of our movies now. So this is how you just go about grabbing some information from these APIs. So let's go back over here now. And what we're going to do is grab a few more information. Let's do href because we can use a link that is given to us there. And we could put use backticks, so we could grab some information and put post dot location, locations, and then position zero, because we want to grab the location, so we'll grab a URL, and then we want some sort of key. So if we just stick with the href right now, and let's actually go to grab an image as well. So let's say we want an image because there's an image link that is given to us. We can do src is equal to post.image. And then we'll close that. So if we go back over here now, you can see that we get not just the title, but we also get the image of the actual uh, movie as well. The reason why is because if we open one of them up, there is a thing called, uh, let's see here, image. So we got image right there, and it's giving us a URL to that image. So we could just specify that within the image tag. And you can see here, we can grab other information as well, depending on what you need for your application. So there is one more thing that you should be aware of. It's not showing right now, but in the other API movies or videos that I will be making, there will be this error that sometimes comes up and it says that you need a unique key identifier. And what it's essentially saying is just because it's looping through, there needs to be some sort of unique ID for each post. So in order to make each post different, we actually need to add this thing right over here in the div. Um, we can make another um, item called key is equal to, and we'll say post.id. So post.id, what that one is, is right over here, is we open it up and it has an ID. An ID is a unique identifier, 
And we can use these unique identifiers to get rid of any error messages if it does come up for you about saying that you need a unique key. So just be aware that um, most APIs do have some kind of unique ID available. If not, you could always make one yourself as well. If we save this, it should can, this should be everything for the basics of the API that you will need, at least for this first um, video. But let's actually look at what it looks like in the actual browser itself um, when we actually look at the elements. So if we open up the elements here, and I open up the body, let's go to the div, and let's see here, container, so let me just right click the um, image here, okay, so right over here, let's see, okay, so it is showing it looks like just that unique ID is invisible. Let's just refresh it. So it looks like that uh, key just does not show up, but it, it is there. It's just um, uniquely identifying all of the divs that are here because these all of these divs right here are essentially all of the different movies that are being displayed on our screen. So if I scroll down, um, these are all the different movies and titles and it's listed right here in all of these different divs that have been defined in the elements. So if you want to get a copy of this code right here, I will have it um, on GitHub as well, which will be down in the description box below. And this is just part one of the API calls, and I'll have a lot more to come.